Shalom. Did you know that much of communication is nonverbal? Today's um, So, yes, much of communication is nonverbal. Look at the stars at night. Look at the uh, look at the ocean. Look at the waves. Look at the flowers and all the animals and everything. I mean, the Lord speaks without even making a sound through all of these things that we see. Uh, patience is very, very, very important. Patience is purity of heart for without purity of heart we shall not see God humbling our heart as little children paramount um, today I was reading about Abraham and I was also reading the book of Joel in the book of Joel I was reading about how um, that our God is kind and slow to anger. And that's good. That's very good for us. Um, that he is our healing God um, and that we don't need to ask him, you know, if it's your will. The Lord went around left, right, and center healing people. Perfect healings constantly. He fed the hungry. He brought the dead back to life. I mean, he's the good shepherd. Um, he is the lion of Judah. And that brings up a thought. So as I'm walking back from the pool this morning, um, I was thinking about how we have our God, who is known as the Father of Lights, See, he is spirit, and we worship him in spirit and in truth. And we are spirits inside of these temporary, physical, mortal bodies. But we are spirits, and he is the spirit that is without sin, that is omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. And so it is unto him that we uh, honor and it is unto him that we give all the praise and glory, and it is him that we worship in spirit and in truth. He is the Father of lights. And you know how um, there's like magic tricks and misdirection and counterfeits and things of this nature? Well, if I was to say to you, Father of lights, and then I was also to say, uh, Father of lies, well, they both sound kind of similar. If I was to say them quickly, you may not be able to differentiate between the two. And in the same way, um, the enemy comes like an angel of light to deceive. And he whispers in many people's ears that have faith in the Father of Lights 
and who trust in Yeshua and have received Ruach HaKodesh and they um, are in covenant with the Creator and they have a relationship but yet they have failed to continually discipline themselves to listen carefully to the voice of their Good Shepherd and they continue to wander and stray. And there are many, 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 many churches all throughout the world that have leaders that are leading these people that go to these churches. And you have a lot of half truths and some things that are 95% true, but you have all these lies that have, you know, squeaked their ways in. And you have the doctrine of demons being um, taught. And uh, so you have a lot of people's minds that are corrupted because of this. And they're not free. Not completely. But they could be. Today is the day of salvation. Today is a day that a call goes out to all of the virgins to keep your garments white clean and without spot or blemish and to finish the race with flying colors today is a day that unto the virgins the command goes out keep your lamps filled with oil and burning bright because you do not know the hour in which your lord shall come watch and pray And Chloe would like to say Shabbat Shalom. Say Shabbat Shalom, Chloe.